Taurus, thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go. Ooh. I'm sorry, I just took a sip of this tea. With that being said, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Taurus? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Taurus. Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Taurus. Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Taurus. Please and thank you. So we have the Nine of Wands. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> We have the Four of Swords in reverse as your outcome here. Ace of Pentacles as your advice. And Justice as overall energy. Six of Swords. So some sort of situation will be improving. You may be guided to relocate or someone may be relocating towards you. Um, with the Nine of Wands here. And this Nine of Wands, as you can see, this demonic uh, entity like shadowing over this man here. And this man is sitting here like thinking, what is the best way for them to get out of this situation? How can they get out of this? They, this person currently feels defeated. They have little fight left within them. But the thing is, see this man, they're not, they may, they sense this demonic energy overshadowing them. But what they fail to realize is that they have power over this demonic entity. Like they are more powerful because of the spirit within them to overcome this situation. And it's like the odds are against them, but they have the power. Once they realize the power within them, they will overcome this situation. So some of you guys may be in a situation similar to that. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, so the ten, the ten of Pentacles is all about family, it's legacy, it's abundance, it's that living that life where you are financially well off, your family is happy, there's stability, there's security. But with it being in the reverse, and this is the issue here. So the issue is that someone's stability, family legacy is being affected. It doesn't have to be family necessarily, but everything that you wanted to build for yourself may be affected in a particular situation. Now is not the time for you to rest. Some of you guys, it's, it's time for you to take action towards something. It's not time for you to close your eyes and to just lay there, pretend like some of you guys just may be like, I'm so tired of this. I just want to be done with it. But now is not the time for you to do that. Now is the time for you to take action, to realize the power within yourself and that you possess the power um, to overthrow this demonic entity that has been overshadowing you. There is some sort of tangible offer here that you will be guided to take advantage of. And this is something, this is actually, this is something within the 3D. This is something that you will see with your eyes. It's tangible here. The divine is on your side in a particular situation. The best thing is like the six of swords is moving out of turbulent water towards more calm waters. It's, and even though it's like, okay, you're moving into the calm waters now, or you soon will be, things will be improving even more. And the thing is, they're not in this boat alone. They have help. They have assistance. So you are not doing something on your own. You are being guided. You're being moved towards a better place here. Justice is definitely on your side in a particular situation. Justice being the overall energy and it came through in the upright. So something will be ruled in your favor. A particular situation will improve for you. I have been stuffy. I am feeling so much better. I 
I truly appreciate all the love and support because I know people have been sending positive energy. People have been sending prayers. And I definitely appreciate it. I have been fasting and praying as well. I've been fasting and praying just in general because of the state of the world at this time. But I definitely appreciate you all sending love and um, prayers my way. I definitely appreciate it. Me and my son. So, but we are doing well. <clears throat> Okay, messages for my Tauruses who are in a relationship. Messages for my Tauruses who are in a relationship, please and thank you. Messages for my Tauruses who are in a relationship, please and thank you. Tauruses in a relationship. Okay, so this is not the relationship for you. I mean, I'm not even going to dive deeper into it. It's a karmic relationship. This person also has a tendency to push you down, to talk down to you. Um, they intentionally try to make you feel like you're not enough. They intentionally, and some of you guys, this is exactly that demonic entity that is just shadowing over you. Um, some of you guys have a tendency to attract that type of energy towards you. Because we have a tendency to want to see energy in a physical form because we've never seen like um, really the essence of energy itself and how it just kind of flows free uh, freely. It's different frequencies, it's different energies. Um, and people can possess a particular entity. They can uh, possess a particular energy. And some of y'all have a tendency to attract the same energy towards you. And that energy loves to put you down. Because the whole goal of this energy is to block you from acknowledging the power within yourself. And if they continue, if you constantly have people in your family, your friends, the relationships that you attract, if you constantly attract the same energy towards you and this energy is constantly telling you you are nothing, you're not capable of anything, you're powerless, if you constantly have people telling you that, then eventually you will feed into it. But it's up to you whether to believe it or not. And trust me, I understand it is not easy, but you do have the power within yourself to overcome this and to no longer attract that type of energy and to also help people break free of it too. Okay, messages for my Tauruses who are in separation from their person. Messages for my Tauruses who are in separation from their person, please and thank you. Messages for my Tauruses who are in separation from their person, please and thank you. Okay, so it looks like you, there was some sort of betrayal between, between you and this person, and that's why two of you are separated. Because um, it's heartache and pain that's involved in this situation. You guys are now focused on making healthier choices in your life. I'm getting that you still have love for this person, but you realize you don't deserve what this person puts you through. And you're not willing to accept whatever this person has to offer anymore. Give me one more regarding this situation. Yeah, it's a karmic relationship. This person charmed and used you. So some of y'all, that's exactly like you felt charmed and used by this person. But now you realize that like it's up to you to have boundaries when it comes to the people, the relationships in your life, your morals, your values. It's up to you to speak up for yourself and to not allow people to do this to you. So I do see you making healthier choices. Messages for my Tauruses who are single. Single Tauruses, please and thank you. Messages for the single Tauruses, please and thank you. Single Tauruses, please and thank you. Single Tauruses, please and thank you. Single Tauruses. So you guys are healing from a... So some of you guys may, be, uh, may have recently separated from someone. Because it looks like you're giving someone the silent treatment as you heal from uh, an abusive relationship. It could have just been toxic one way or the other, but you're healing from this. One more regarding this situation, please and thank you. One more regarding this situation, please and thank you. Well, two more. Yeah. 
So you guys are have you will have some sort of revelation here. It looks like you have um, blinded yourself from the truth, and you have some sort of outdated thinking here where you have been repeating the same cycles. And finally, you're receiving revelation when it comes to when it comes to this. You're opening your eyes. And that way you can do better. You can attract better. Let me see if we can get any messages regarding <coughs> <coughs> new love. You'll have to bear with me because the more I talk, of course, it's messages regarding new love. Please and thank you. Messages regarding new love. And on top of that, I'm just drinking tea. So... Messages regarding new love, please and thank you. New love for Tauruses, single Tauruses, please and thank you. Okay, so the person that you're attracting regarding new love, they may have like responsibilities, whether it's their job or they have children, but this person will see you as irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. So whoever this person is, they are going to love you and there's the way you'll look at this person is like there's no one in this world who has made you feel the way this person is about to make you feel. And the thing is, I'm getting like you guys could have had people who did not make you a priority. They could have said like they have like other responsibilities and they intentionally did not make time for you. This person, despite them having um, other obligations and responsibilities, they will make time for you. They will show you. They will take the initiative to prove to you that you are a priority to them. You are a priority in their life. They will show you that they value you through their actions. And that's why you will look at this person as the love they give to you is, is no one compares to it. No one can compare to the love that they have given to you. finances and career messages regarding finances and career please and thank you messages regarding finances and career please and thank you messages regarding finances and career please and thank you so we have the ace of swords in reverse we have the moon in reverse Outcome is the hangman. Your advice is the nine of cups. And the overall energy is the seven of pentacles. We have the world in reverse. So you guys are at the finish line or you're almost at the finish line, but there's still some things that you need to close out. There's still something that you're needing to work on. Um, with the Ace of Swords being in reverse, there is some sort of miscommunication or a lack of clarity in a particular situation. Now, with the moon in reverse being the challenge or the issue in this particular situation, some of you guys refuse to acknowledge like the truth. Like there is something that's been revealed to you, something that has been exposed. Or some of you guys just are simply tuning out your intuition, the guided messages that you are receiving. So with Ace of Swords, because Ace of Swords is all about truth. It's all about clarity. Are some of y'all refusing to acknowledge the truth in a particular situation because you're afraid of it affecting your happiness here? Because the issue being attached to your advice with the moon in reverse and the nine of cups, some of you guys may say, okay, um, I'm just happy where I currently am. So you don't want to really acknowledge something. But the thing is, if something is being revealed to you, it's because there will come a time. You may say that it doesn't affect you right now. But first of all, with it affecting you accomplishing something here, it is affecting you, whether you want to see it or not. Because the thing is, ultimately, the outcome, with outcome being the hangman, 
there will be some sort of sacrifice required of you either way. You're going to have to uh, sacrifice something, whether it's your morals, your values, or you sacrifice uh, people's opinions of you. You know, it's, it's something that you will have to sacrifice in a particular situation. Now, with the Seven of Pentacles being the overall energy, this is good because it, it's saying your efforts will not be in vain. If you put the hard work towards something, it will pay off for you. But the Seven of Pentacles comes with much sacrifice here. It does, but it pays off. So if you're feeling like you're not accomplishing something, you're needing to acknowledge the truth. Whatever is being exposed to you at this time, don't sit up here and say, okay, I'm, I'm happy, so I'll just refuse to acknowledge the truth. I'll just allow this to continue to build up to the point where it finally affects me to the point where I can't ignore it anymore. Why wait, why wait for it to get to that point when you can do something about it now? So for whoever this is for, that's what you're being guided to do, to be proactive and not reactive. Because when it comes to you being reactive, you can easily mess everything up, completely destroy everything because you don't have time to think things through. You just have to react. Okay, so we have great fortune. So blessings opening up for you. False person is the issue. We have privileged lady. So you guys are about to be very blessed. There are blessings, like opportunities opening up to you. You have blessings pouring down on you. So... Your advice is false and mature, man. So you are on someone's mind here. Overall energy is change, judication. There is some sort of um, ruling that is going in your favor, whether it's spiritually or actual false person. So you have people spying on you. You have people that or you will have people, because whatever blessing you're receiving, that's going to be people like wondering, like, how did you get this? How did you receive this blessing? Why are you living this privileged lifestyle? But you, the, the, the divine is on your side. Like the divine has shown favor upon you. And that's allowing you to live this privileged lifestyle. There is a major change. Some of y'all, you will be moving. Give me one more about false and mature man. Mature woman. Occupation. This energy has been coming through. Some of you guys will be connecting with someone at work or just continue to work on something. I'm going to tell you what. There is someone who's paying attention to something that you're doing. And you have some energies that are jealous because of the blessings you're about to come into. And you have someone <clears throat> that is just, and it looks like a relationship here between you and someone else. But you and this person definitely matches each other's, you match each other's energy here. So you could have captured someone's attention. Now, what particular role this person will play in your life? I'm not quite seeing it yet. It could be someone that you work with and someone who um, sees you as being a person who has integrity. Um, this is someone who has taken a liking to you. Ultimately, I see blessings coming in, but the blessings I see coming in for you are, it, it looks like it's coming straight from the divine, like the gates of heaven opening up for you. So, and it's some people who have acquired things in their life and they did it the wrong way. So they're going to be sitting up here like, how are you receiving these blessings? 
and you didn't have to sell your soul. Basically, I'm, I'm getting that for someone here. So you guys are receiving a large amount of blessings, a lot of favor in your life. And it's people who did everything the wrong way to get what they have. And they live this miserable life. And they're sitting up here and wondering, why didn't you have to do it? Well, they felt victim to a scam. That's why justice is on your side. I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. But with that being said, you all take care.